Okay, so ngayon naman ay apply na natin ang natutunan natin ng the budget equation sa pagsosolve ng mga problem. So we have a sample problem here. You can pause the video and read and understand the problem. So, i adding a extract na yung different informations from the problem. So, what are the different given? So, una, so we have the elevation, initial elevation of the water surface at the lake. So, let's denote that H sub I. That is equal to 103.2 meters. Then, ang ating average inflow, surface run of inflow, or R in, ay equal to... 6 cubic meter per second. Ating surface uh, run of outflow R out ay equal naman sa 6.5 cubic meter per second. So, the elevation, the lake had received a total rainfall of 145 millimeters. So, 145 millimeters yung precipitation. So, 145 millimeters. Convert na natin into meters. This is 0 0.145 meters. So, next I the lake has a total evaporation of 6.10 centimeters. So, let's con uh, 6.10 centimeters. Let's convert that into meters. This is equivalent to 0 0.061 meter okay then we are asked to write the water budget equation of the lake and calculate the water elevation surface elevation of the lake at the end of the month okay so next is yung area surface area ng lake so the average surface area is 5000 hectares so 5000 hectares so we know that uh 1 hectare is equivalent to 10,000 square meters. So, i-multiply lang natin ito para convert na yung hectare into square meters. This is equivalent to 5,000 times 10,000 square meters. So, equal sa 5 times 10 is to 7 square meters. Tapos, pwede rin natin i-compute na yung time. So, ilan ba yung time? So, isa, yung time dito ay 1 month. So, delta T. So, T na lang. Sabi natin. T is 1 month. And, from the given here, ang sa, R, sa rate ng flow rate, inflow and outflow rate is in terms of meter cube per second. So, kailangan natin i-convert itong time into second. Para mamaya sa dimensional analysis ay magkaroon tayo ng dimensional homogeneity. So, convert natin to into seconds. So, ano to? Sa loob ng one month, on, meron tayo 30 days. Tapos, 30 days. Sa loob ng one day, meron tayo 24 hours. Tapos, sa loob naman ng isang oras, meron tayo 3,600 seconds. So, ang unit na neto ay seconds. So, ilan yung time natin. Time here is equivalent to so, tayo sa calculator. So, 30 times 24 times 3,600. So, 2592000. So, okay. 2.592 times 10 raised to 6 seconds. Yun yung ating time. Okay, so pwede na tayo mag-proceed ngayon sa ibang calculations bago tayo uh, dumako dun sa mismo paggamit natin ng hydrologic budget or water budget. So, we do some calculations first. So, una natin ko compute yung volume, uh, total volume inflow. So, paano yun? Just, it is just basically total rate of inflow times the total time. So, mangyari dyan ay uh, 6 cubic meter per second multiplied by 
2.592 times 10 raised to 6 seconds. So, ito ay cancel. Cancel din to. So, i-input natin siya ngayon sa calculator. Ilan ito? So, we have 6 times 2.592. Times 10 raised to 6. This is 1.55 times 10 raised to 7. 1.55 times 10 raised to 7 cubic meters. So, I round off na lang natin. So, no? This is, should be 1.56. So, raise natin to. This should be 1.56. Okay. So, V out. Ganon then R out times T. So, this is 6.5 cubic meter per second multiplied by 2.592 times 10 raised to 6 seconds. Input natin sa calculator. Edit lang natin to 6.5. So, this is... 1.68 times 10 raised to 7. Sixty-eight times 10 raised to 7 cubic meters. So, yan ay mga volume out natin. So, how about um, volume naman ng precipitation? So, sa volume naman ng precipitation, so, volume ng precipitation natin ay imumultiply lang naman natin itong um, 0 0.145 meter na uh, change in precipitation, precipitation amount sa total area ng lake. So, that is uh, 5 times 10 is to 7 meters. So, ito. So, 5 times 10 is to 7 squared meters. So, ang ating volume of precipitation, total volume for precipitation, ay equal sa 0.145 times 5 times 10 is to 7. So, this is equivalent to 7.25 times 10 raised to 6. 7.25 times 10 raised to 6 meters. Okay? So, next, I compute naman natin yung volume ng evaporation. So, volume naman ngayon ng evaporation. So, E is equal to, yun lang din, multiply lang natin yung amount na nag-evaporate by its the area of the lake. So, area ng lake ay 5 times 10 raised to 7 squared meters. No? So, E is equal to ilan? Input natin sa calculator. This is 0 0.061 times 5 x times 10 raised to 7. So, this is 3.05 times 10 raised to 6. Cubic meters. So, okay. So, right? So, pwede na natin ngayon itong i-plug in sa ating hydrologic budget equation. Pero bago yan, ay sulat muna natin yung gagamitin nating hydrologic equation. So, so, ano ba ang hydrologic equation na gagamitin natin? So, this is hmm, P plus yung R in, yung volume ni R in, yung input na natin dito yung V in plus G in is equal to um, R out plus G out plus evaporation plus transpiration plus yung delta S. So, as mentioned sa problem, so balik na yun sa problem. So, sabi dito, 
there is no contribution to or from the groundwater storage. So, with that statement, ng ibig sabihin lang nun, so wala tayong, so zero yung G in and G out pareho. G in and G out, both of these is just equal to zero. Tapos, yung transpiration natin, wala rin naman tayong sinabing value dyan. So, it, we assume that this is also equal to zero. Tapos, itong R out pa na to, ay gagamitin natin yung kinupit natin, yung volume na. No? So, meron tayong precipitation, meron tayong V in or v R in, meron tayong V out using R out, meron tayong ipapot transpiration, ang nawawala sa atin ay delta S. So, we solve for delta S. So, paano yan? We isolate it with one side in one side of the equation. Delta S is equal to P plus yung V in na lang or R in para hindi na tayo malito kasi yun yung nasa mismong equation. Minus R out plus minus E minus E. Okay. So, Input na natin yung mga values. Tandaan, itong mga to ay volumes. So, dapat ang input natin, ang unit niya ay cubic meter o depende kung ano yung ginapit na unit. Okay. So, so this should be cubic meter. Yan. So, precipitation is Ito yun. Plug na natin sa dito. So, we have 7.25 times 10 is to 6 cubic meter. R in. Ito naman yun. 1.56 times 10 is to 7 cubic meter. Then, R out, or V out, so ito naman yun. 1.68 times 10 is to 7 cubic meters. And lastly, evaporation. Ito yun. So we have 3.05 times 10 Raised to 6 cubic meters. So, change in storage is equal to yan. So, ipa-plug in na lang natin yan. Ilagay natin sa calculator. Solve natin. Plug natin sa calculator. So, we have here 7.25 7.25 times 10 raised to 6 plus 1.56 times 10 is to 7 minus 1.68 times 10 times 10 is to 7 so, so may counting error lang so ang operation dapat pala natin dito ay minus so mali yan it should be minus so, minus 3.05 times 10 raised to 6. So, review natin kung tama yung input para hindi tayo magkamali. 7.25 times 10 raised to 6. 1.56 times 10 raised to 7. Minus 1.68 times 10 raised to 7. Minus 3.05 and then is 6 okay so sagot chan i this one so 3 times 10 raised to 6 3 times 10 raised to 6 cubic meters but we are ano yung meron lang sa atin ito yung change in volume pero hindi pa yan yung hindi pa yan yung mismong sagot sa tanong so, ang tanong sa atin dito actually is yung change in height. Ano yung bagong height ng lake? So, given sa atin itong initial height na to. So, how do we do that? So, we just simply, para makuha natin change in height or elevation, so, gagawin lang natin siya, we just simply divide delta S by the area. 
So we have here 3 times 10 is to 6 cubic meters divided by uh, million yun, area 5 times 10 raised to 7. So 5 times 10 raised to 7 squared meters. So cancel. Pumatira yung 1 dyan. So input natin sa calculator na yan. So, ilan yan? So, 3 times 10 raised to 6 over 5 times 10 raised to 7. So, 3 over 50 or 0 0.06. So, 0 0.06 meter. So, 0 0.06 meter. So, yan yung change in height. So, you, you know that uh, delta H is just basically H sub F minus H sub I. And this is just equal to 0 0.06 meter. So, meron tayong given kanina na H sub I. So, ilan ba yung H sub I na to? So, this is 103.2 Okay. So, i-plug na natin dito. Mas-solve na natin yung H sub F. So, H sub F minus 103.2 meter is, meters is equal to 0 0.606 meter. So, therefore, H sub F is just equal to 103.2 meter plus 0 0.06 meter. H sub F, yung height, after a month is equal to 103.26 meters. So, yan na yung bago nating height after a month. So, yan lang.